Well, let's get the show started, shall we? Yeah! Are you ready? successfully executing a birthday party for a 10-year-old. I know, I know this is uh, not easy work, all right? I've done 10 of these now. I also have a six-year-old, so that's six more. I have done 16 kids' birthdays, all right? I mean, I probably put it up there, right? There's a the presidential inauguration, then there's Academy Awards, and then there's a kid's birthday party. Now, I remember when my parents Used to mine. It used to be so simple, like they'd throw some pizzas on a table, kids would run around, scrape their knees, right? It's a little bit different now, right? A lot of things to consider, right? A lot of sensitivities, lights and sound and glutens and nuts and sugars and milks and all these different things and you gotta make sure you have enough for everybody. I think I was able to convince my daughter to keep her guest list at 10. Right, so then that, that, that like reduced the number of variables that came into it. Uh, but I'm proud to say that uh, we had a very successful birthday party. Now, I do have uh, two daughters, and I'm gonna say this, uh, you know, I don't know if I'd, uh, I, I don't know if I'd call myself a, uh, a feminist, but definitely living in a house of three women makes you more sensitive, uh, right, to, to, to the feminist movement and to just the female gender. And I, I am gonna say this, I'm gonna say one thing. One thing that I don't say anymore, because I do think that it's a BS comment, is when people say, oh, you scream or you cry like a little girl. I'm gonna go ahead and say this. All little kids cry, right? All little kids scream, right? They all just scream their heads out. It's not just little girls, it's all kids. They just scream. Now, I'm gonna say one more thing, all right? One more thing that I know that we, all men would say, all men would say, I would take away, I would take a bullet from my wife. Right? Like, like, like that's gonna happen sometime soon, right? <laughs> the rare occasion, right, that it, that, 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 that it might happen, I would take a bullet for my wife. I'm stand there, right? Here's one thing that my wife has already done for me twice. She has had part of her skin torn by two inches as another body exited hers. Okay, and we say, ugh. You were also responsible for that. You tore up your mom. This is a real thing that happens. Yeah, sure, I might be able to take a bullet from my wife. My wife has already torn her skin twice for me. Not only did she have to bear with the three second event that was us creating a baby, right? But now she also had to have part of her body torn as she gave birth. Uh, and I think, you know, that, that's, that's strength, right? Females are super strong to have to put up with that, right? And so bravo to women, bravo to all of you. are definitely, definitely very strong. Uh, and so um, I, do want to, uh, I do want to say this in regards to, uh, to birthday parties. There's a comment that you hear at parties every now and then. You might even hear it outside of parties. And I always wonder what it means uh, when a male friend of yours, right, as your wife walks by, uh, and I, you know, I'm proud to say, but my, my, my wife is a very attractive woman. She walks by, and then one of your male friends says, says this comment, you're a lucky man, right? And it makes you think, like, what is my friend thinking right now? <laughs> like, when he says, you're a lucky man, what, what, what is he thinking? Like, is he thinking, oh, you have someone to uh, sit up and talk about Netflix shows with? Or, you know, are they thinking, oh, you have somebody that'll cook a nice meal for you after a long day of work? Oh, you have somebody that will take a walk with you on the beach? I doubt that that's what my friend is thinking at that <laughs> moment. When you say, oh, you're a lucky man. Oh, I know what you're thinking, you mofo. Uh, <laughs> I know what you're thinking. I know what you're imagining. And you're right. I am a lucky man. Uh, <laughs> uh, and so, um, I'm gonna go, I, I just wanna uh, a couple more things, and uh, I do wanna say that, uh, by my friend saying that you're a lucky man, I'm very happy that he considers me a man. I think that's really important. <laughs> you see, one thing that happens at my height, I often get uh, mistaken as a child for a child, right? Even at 44 years old, right? Youngster, 
Uh, you know, hey, how you doing, buddy? Especially, you know, don't look at me and they think I'm a kid. Uh, no, I'm just a shorter, I'm a shorter adult. I'm not a, I'm not a kid. Now, we all do talk about white privilege a lot, and I'm not going to get into white privilege, but I do want to talk about one thing, and that is height privilege. Okay? <laughs> now, now there's a, the other day I was at a party city uh, with a taller white friend of mine. And she, for no reason other than just being ex existing, they suddenly confused her for working at Party City. <laughs> who gets confused for working at Party City? I'll tell you who does not. Not this guy. All right, this guy often gets confused for working at hotels, not a lie, or gets confused for uh, being a valet. I'll tell you this, next time one of you guys accidentally gives me your keys because you think of a valet, I'm gonna go ahead and take your car for you and, uh, and I'll take care of it, don't worry. Thank you very much, everybody. <laughs>